The next reflex I want to talk to you about is the tonic labyrinthine reflex, or the TLR. The next reflex I want to talk to you about is the tonic labyrinthine reflex, or the TLR. Now this reflex is the beginning of the postural reflexes, which allow a child to get themselves up off the floor and to work against gravity. This reflex is responsible for the development of postural stability and head control. It's what allows a child to develop the muscles down the back of their neck and in their core so that they can manage the weight of their head and the weight of their limbs. It allows them to learn how to control their body against gravity. One of the ways to tell if a child has an active TLR is just to look at their body. It's amazing what our kids' bodies and behaviors can tell us about where they're stuck developmentally. Children that have not integrated the TLR means that they have not developed the postural strength or muscles they need to hold themselves up. The TLR also helps develop our vestibular system, which is really important for our balance and knowing where we are in space. If you've never heard of the vestibular system before, it's basically our balance system or a system that lets us know when we are in motion and where we are in space. It's housed in the inner ear and it has to do with three canals and they basically represent movement, whether it's forwards and backwards, side to side or round and round. Now the TLR has two systems, the TLR forward and the TLR backwards, and they activate different reactions. So as we talked about before, that you have a vertical midline, you also have an imaginary line that divides the front and back of your body. So when the baby's head or a child's head bends forward and goes in front of this imaginary line dividing front from back, it causes the body to tuck in. And when the head tilts backwards and goes behind this imaginary line, it causes the body to open up. So the number one problem that comes from a non-integrated TLR is poor muscle development and poor core stability and poor balance or orientation. And this obviously can have a lot of effects in the classroom. One, children are just generally constantly fatigued by holding up their own body. They bump into things and they just generally look exhausted. You believe that your child might still have a TLR that is not integrated? We need to work on integrating the TLR so that they can start to build that muscle development that they need so that they can use their body more effectively.